fast trick to factor quadratics. Coming up, back in the action. Hey guys, how to factor quadratic expressions fast, quick, right off the bat? Well, quadratic expressions or just quadratics for short might come up a lot when you do maths, different topics, it could be calculus or just rational expressions when you simplify your rational expression or when you do operations, adding, subtracting. Anyway, sometimes you have to factor your quadratic or trinomial fast right off the bat. So I'm going to show you the fast way of factoring any quadratic expression. Now, suppose you are given something like this. So always your first step, you recognize your a, b and c. a, b and c basically they are coefficients in front of your terms. So your first coefficient, the leading coefficient, which is in front of x squared, always, this is your a. The second coefficient, or sometimes it's called the middle coefficient, because this is your middle term. It's negative 5, not 5, but negative 5, and this is important, because many, many, many people just take it as a 5. So it, this negative, the, which is in front of 5, also has to be taken into consideration. So your second coefficient, your middle coefficient, is negative 5. And finally, the last coefficient, or sometimes it's called a constant, because this number kind of sticks out, sticks, uh, hangs out, so this is your last coefficient, negative 3. Again, it's taken with this negative in front in this case. Now, your first thing to do always, you multiply your first coefficient, which is 2, by your last coefficient, which is c. So you multiply your a and c. So in this case, it's 2 times negative 3. That would leave you just negative 6. Now, you are going to take the middle coefficient, which is negative 5 in this problem. And now, you are going to find two numbers that multiply to negative 6 to this number that you would get from multiplying these two coefficients together. And these two numbers have to add up to your middle coefficient, which is negative 5. Again. You are going to find, you are looking for two numbers that multiply to this negative 6. So their product, the product of these two numbers gets to negative 6. And their sum, they sum up, they add up to negative 5. In other words, we are going to break up this negative 6 into these two factors. But these factors, they are basically factors of negative, negative 6, since their product gets to negative 6. So basically we are looking for two factors. But the sum of these two factors has to be this negative 5. So the way you could come up with these two numbers, you could simply make a list of all factors of negative 6. So and you could start for 
let's say six and negative one for example so since six times negative one gives you negative six but if you add six plus negative one that give you that give you five not negative five so we are looking for negative five so you could achieve this just by flipping a sign so if you get negative six and one so negative six times one gives you negative six and negative six plus one gives you negative five so you don't need to list out other pairs so uh, sometimes it takes a little bit time to figure out these numbers but I would say it could come just with practice now we found these two numbers the next step you are going to divide both of these numbers by a by your leading coefficient always always so you divide your first number which is negative 6 by 2 and you divide your second number also by 2 by leading coefficient all right now the next step it takes a little bit simplification simplifying so since 2 goes into 6 three times we would just get from the first one it simplifies to just negative 3 over 1 and the second one remains the same since 1 over 2 it's already into its simplest form so you don't need to simplify that one now we're going to use these two fractions the final step to write your factoring so you're going to break down your trinomial into two sets of parentheses this one the bottom of the first fraction so we're going to look at this fraction and that one so this one goes as a coefficient of x for your first fraction And these two goes as a coefficient of x for your second term, for your second factor in your factory. Now, this negative 3, we're going to take and use it as a constant in your first factor. And finally, this one goes for the second term into your second set of parentheses as a constant so basically we are done so we could simply ignore this one typically we don't write the coefficient of x being one so we could simply omit it so and this is your final factoring for that problem we're done and at this point I would suggest you to check out your answer if you have time because there are still negative positive this kind of little errors might come up and you might make mistakes little slip ups so i would suggest just you could do this 
check it out even mentally you don't have to write it explicitly so you would just fold it out and multiply all things out so x times 2x gives you 2x squared back x times 1 gives you x minus 3 times 2, 2x gives you negative 6x and plus x so that would take you back to negative 5x and finally minus 3 times 1 gives you negative 3 so it checks out so this is your final factoring for that problem i hope it helps you thanks for watching and train your brain i know everyone hates maths but if you like my video please Click like, share with your friends, leave the comment down below and be sure to subscribe so you will not miss out my new videos.